Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. First of all, I want to point out, I have a really bad tendency, I don't know why I do this, of like when I'm filming, I pick cute outfits, but like they're primarily pant-based outfits. So like, it's just a black shirt, but like, look at my pants. Like, look how cute. Do you see how cute those are? They're little leggings that have like newspapers on them. So I don't know why I do that, but I do. And I wanted you guys to see it today because I was upset. Anyway, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, I am very excited because uh, as I have mentioned in the past couple of videos, I've spent a ton of money at Ulta, so much money. But I've also accumulated, I'm currently fighting with them because they didn't give me my rewards points for the last one. I've accumulated over, when I finally get those points, over 10,000 rewards points, which is like $800 worth of free goodies and free cash to Ulta. Planning on using a lot of that during the holiday season. Nikki and I always put in multiple orders. So I know um, it's coming. I know I will still spend money, but I will also be able to, to use some of those rewards points to get some of the deals and hopefully some of the free gifts they're offering at that time. So with that being said, I have like 10,000 palettes that I've purchased recently to review for you guys. And um, I wanna try and get them out there as fast as possible because a lot of these are newer products things that have just been introduced to the market and the, the intention is that you'll be looking for stuff to get for the holiday season. And I think that's what they're kind of doing is sh starting to show you like, hey, look, this is for the holiday season. This is for the holiday season. We did a haul video and I showed you guys uh, the Naked Honey palette. I did a review of that. I did an eye look with that. So today I'm going to do another palette that I got in that same haul. I did not, I was not expecting to find this palette, I didn't know it was coming out. I didn't really know anything about it. It's from Pure Cosmetics. I love Pure Cosmetics. And when I saw it in the email, I was like, I'm going to pick that up. This was a $38 palette. That may sound steep, but when you see what you get, it's it's about one of the cheapest palettes I think I've ever bought for like the, the quantity of makeup that you're getting. This is what it looks like. It is the Pure Crystal Clear palette. Really pretty packaging. It comes in a nice little box. Um, but this itself, the palette itself looks like a book and it kind of unfolds into three sections. So your first section, you've got like a lot of really cool matte shades, a couple of uh, like semi shimmer is what I would call them because they're not quite glitter shades, but they're like semi shimmers. Then you've got your contours and like a really dark blush color. And then you open this up and you've got more contour shades, more blush shades, highlighter shades, and then you have a bunch of glitter shades over here. But if you take just a gander at like, there's just so many colors, there's so many things you can do with this. I am very paranoid when I go out of town. I bring lots of palettes. I don't use really any. I probably use the same like three palettes the whole time I'm on a trip. I always bring a good quantity of face palettes, eye palettes, highlighter palettes, because I never know what look I'm gonna try and create. I have so many of them. It's like, you know, picking which, you know, favorite pair of shoes you wanna bring. It's that kind of like, oh, what am I gonna bring with me? This, hands down, I would say, as long as the quality is there, which knowing Pure, I would say it is. We'll see today when I test it. But knowing what I know about Pure Cosmetics and seeing what's in here, I would say I probably could make it for a full trip with just this palette and be okay. It might be a little stressful at points because I do like having options, but there's so many colors in this palette. You just have a, a wide variety to work with. So I wanted to do this one pretty quick because I really hadn't heard anything about it. I saw it in an Ulta email and I was like, Haha, thanks, here's my $40, please take it. So yeah, I'm going to do a full face look with the colors basically so we'll do my contour my blush my highlight with this palette and we'll do my eye look with this palette that is not a full face at all i've done a lot of other stuff to lead up to that point however in terms of like bless you puppy the puppy sneezed in terms of like trying to get your your colors and all that such that would be uh, about everything you're gonna need now while i'm fighting with this i'm gonna go ahead and say I'm pretty sure for my contour, I'm going to go in with the um, contour shade that's in the middle of the middle palette. So it's like the medium toned shade. That would be what I would normally go in with as a contour shade anyway. That's a nice shade. It's a little orangey, but like not too bad. I like it though. It's not, and I feel like it's going to be really easy to blend out just based on the way it's like applying. I can't explain what I mean by that other than if you are an avid makeup connoisseur, you purchase a lot of different palettes and you use a lot of different formulas. There's a specific look that you get with a contour that is going to blend well. It's almost like it goes on, but there's not a lot of harsh lines. See how nicely that's blending into my skin. And then there's one that we, with like a little bit more challenging palettes, I would say. Um, 
like I love Ulta brand makeup. I actually really genuinely do. You know their concealer is one of my favorites. But I have one of their contour palettes and it goes on and it's literally like a harsh chalk line. And I'm like, blending this is gonna take me 15 minutes. And it does. Um, and it's still kind of, it's a little darker than I'm used to. So this one is not at all like that. It was very easy to work into my skin. It is not too abrasive at all, which I'm a big fan of. I feel like I would probably be able to blend the darker shade out as well, which I'm always very, I'm always very scared to use the darker shade. So a lot of times in my contour palettes, I wind up like basically panning them and not being able to use them, but still having colors left. That being said, I think this is a really good option um, in terms of a, a simple contour um, because it will blend out easily for you. Now in terms of the cheek color, because of the lip color I've chosen, I'm actually going to go in with the really dark purple cheek color. It is the one located on the palette that is directly below the darkest contour shade in the center. And I'm doing that because I think it's going to match the lips color that I chose to do pretty well. Oh, it's actually really pretty. I went in really light handed with it because I didn't want it too harsh. But that's actually really, really pretty. It's like a nice kind of subtle berry fall color, if that makes sense. Already just based on the face stuff, I'm really enjoying this palette. I really, really am. I have a bad tendency of getting these types of palettes and like loving them for like an, a month or so and then because I've been using it so much I'm like I need to pull something else out and then I forget about them. I've done it with a couple other palettes and I don't want to do that again so I'm gonna like do my best to not do that. But yeah I'm a really big fan of it so far. For highlight I'm gonna go in with A-List which is the one that's on the far side if that makes sense. I don't know it's very hard you guys aren't looking at the palette. And I'm trying not to like keep raising it up. But it's A-list and it's the one that's on the, like if you're looking at the center palette, there's the lightest contour shade, what I would call the highlight shade or the um, the neutral shade to kind of like make it sharper. And uh, it's the highlighter that's directly below that. Yep, that's pretty. That's really friggin' pretty. Man, I like this palette a lot. If you guys have not heard about it, I know it is sold at Ulta because that is where I purchased it. It is a $38 palette. I said that at the beginning, but it is a $38 palette. And if you are looking to break into a, um, a quality brand, like more expensive, more pricey products, and you want a really good bang for your buck, stuff that has a lot of products that you can test out, I would highly recommend this palette because of what you get in it. There are a lot of neutral workable shades. There are a lot of color pops in there. And then you get the, the contour, you get the cheek colors, you get the highlighters. It is such a good value. When I saw it, I was like, there is no way I can't not have this. So I bought it. And I know I keep saying that. It's really weird for me to be like endorsing it before I'm even done with the review. But I'm just so incredibly excited about this palette. So cheeks, face, they're done. I really, really, really like the products that we had for those. We're gonna jump into eye colors. I'm wearing fairly neutral stuff aside from my lip color right now. So I think I'm actually going to do kind of a vibrant look. Um, what I'm thinking is Showstopper, which is the vibrant purple shade, is really popping out at me. I think I'm gonna use that. I think I'm going to use um, like Graceful, which is this kind of must light mustardy yellow. Um, there's a couple other nice neutral shades that should be able to blend those together. And then for my, my um, my glitter shade, there's a bunch of glitter shades to choose from, including a purple one that I could do if I wanted to do a full purple look. But I think I'm actually gonna go in with Red Carpet, which is this very nice, chunky glitter shade. And just based on the way it's looking, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm going to use a finger application for that. I know I don't normally do that. I don't like doing that because I have that funny thing about touching my makeup, I don't know why. But I think it's going to be most effective for me to do that. So, just to give you guys a little rundown of what I think we gonna be doing with this here eye look, we're gonna go in with Showstopper first, and I'm just going to pack it onto my outer corners. And it actually, oh God, it's so pretty. It actually reminds me of one of the shades. I don't know if you guys remember all the way back in my videos, if you've been following us from like the beginning, so like my mom. We did a boxy charm like rediscovered hidden gems, and I pulled out that pure festival palette that I almost rebought at Ulta, oops. Um, there's a shade in that, it's a purple shade, and it kind of reminds me of this one. So, but they're different, but it just, it reminds me of it uh, a little bit. So, but it's really, God, so pretty, so pigmented, really easy application, not a ton of fallout, doesn't seem to have gone into places that I wasn't intentionally trying to get it on my eyeball. <sighs> I'm so, I'm so excited about this palette. All right, so that color is 
friggin' gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna go in with Graceful now, which is the really light yellowy shade, and I'm going to blend it into my inner corner. And I don't know if you guys can see how easily this is blending out, but that purple really, like, it just, oh, wow. This is a quality palette, guys. I'm, I'm not even, I know I keep saying it, this is a quality palette. If you, if you are looking for something that can give you everything you're going to need for a complete face and eye look, this is the palette you wanna get. This would be, if you were looking to get somebody, something who is a makeup lover and they don't yet have this palette, this is your Christmas stop for them. This is it. I feel like Pure is really a neglected brand because they are very, very good in quality. They're not talked about a lot. I feel like they are not talked about a lot because they just don't have like a lot of hype around their products. It's not because their products are not competitors with a lot of the ones that we always see the hype is about the Urban Decays, the Too Faced. I always think Urban Decay has like, they have some of the best, like I guess PR people out there because I always am like aware when their palettes come out. They release so many of them, but you know like when their big lines are coming out. And Pure, it just, it, I feel like Pure just gets neglected a lot of the time. And it's, some of my favorite palettes come from them. So that's why I, I really like this palette. I'm very, I'm very impressed with this palette. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go in. I know I said I wasn't gonna use that glitter purple shade, but I am gonna use it and I'm gonna use it as my under eye color because I think that will be a nice little, it's like a slightly darker shade. It's a little more purpley purple rather than like pinky purple, which is what I would say the other, it's a little, the, there's like a touch of violet to that matte purple shade. And this one is like more the eggplant purple. Okay, so we stopped the camera. I cleaned up a little bit of the outer corners and then I um, went ahead and did my concealer so we can apply the glitter shade without you guys having to watch me apply concealer, which you've seen a million times. So I am gonna go in with red carpet. I'm going to take my here pointer finger. <sighs> can you see that? Wow, God, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, okay, so it is, it's definitely like that chunky glitter that doesn't give you the full coverage of like a normal glitter shade. That being said, I'm really digging the way it's looking on the eye. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to like, and I think this is my own fault for the past palettes that I've reviewed and I've said like, oh, I don't really like this chunky glitter shade. You gotta apply it with the finger. I think that's the difference. I don't think a brush is ever going to do what you need it to do for this type of uh, eye look. So as much as I do not like uh, rubbing my palettes because I think it's gross, I, uh, will, I will make my adjustments. I will do this from here on out because wow, wow, look how pretty that is. Well, now I look like I'm ready to go to Coachella because I did like some like glitter tears down here. So cool. All right, I am going to clean up just a little bit and we're gonna see what the final product looks like. I am so, if you guys can't tell, I love this palette. It was a, probably one of the best buys I've, I've done in a while and I've purchased a lot like I said it's just it's good it's good it's a good palette it's, it's uh if you are looking for a palette that's going to do a lot for you I would recommend this one um if you are looking to buy a present for somebody who loves makeup and has not yet picked this one up this is your this is the ticket it really is I don't think it's going to be hyped enough and that's why I'm talking so highly of it right now I don't I I don't think that people are gonna appreciate this palette as much as they should and um, that makes me sad because honestly, if I had to go back and limit what I purchased, I gave a great review for the Naked Honey but I would buy this over the Naked Honey any day. I would, it was cheaper, you get more with it, you get face colors, you get a variety of shades, you get enough to make a lot of really pretty holiday looks, enough to make a lot of pretty really day-to-day -day looks. It's it's a, it's a no-brainer for me if you're looking for a quality palette that you're gonna be able to do a lot with to purchase this one. Okay, so that's the final product, guys. Love it, I just, I do. I'm a huge fan. I'm so glad I picked up this palette. Love it, I just, I really do. I can't say enough good things about this palette. There are a million colors that I didn't even think about touching. So I feel like this is honestly, this is a palette where I could be like, hey, for a whole week, we're doing a different eye look and a different face look using the same palette. I may do that because uh, I've got a lot of other stuff to review, but I think it would be a really fun challenge, especially over the holidays to do like, hey, with this one palette, this is all the different eye looks you can create. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Um, I really like bringing attention to products that I think are not going to get enough mainstream attention. So hopefully me out here saying this is a really, really great palette will get them a little bit more um, attention and hopefully some of you guys will find a palette that you really love as much as I do. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It means a world. 
it means a world. It means a world to me. It means the world to me. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. So please, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see every time we post. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.